Imagine a golf oasis. Surrounded by three million acres of protected land in Arizona. It was brought forth from the barren Sonoran Desert. A breathtaking, link style course featuring magnificent vistas, expansive fairways, dramatic green complexes, all in impeccable condition, and a club with equally spectacular amenities. Today, on this beautiful and challenging course, we'll get to know some of the top players in college golf and their celebrity partners as they compete for $1 million for charity in the inaugural PXG College Golf Showcase from Scottsdale National. Hello everyone, welcome to the PXG College Golf Showcase right here at Scottsdale National. I'm Lauren Thompson and today we're going to be bringing you a very special event pairing four of the top ranked college players with four great celebrities and all to raise one million dollars for military foundations. Now we'll have some fantastic golf from an amazingly beautiful course and a whole lot of fun too. We'll also introduce you to the PGA Tour University program. And with me on the announce team today, a former college All-American and PGA Tour winner, Aaron Oberholzer. So Aaron, are you ready to get the party started? Uh, um, this is awesome, I can't wait. This is uh, gonna be a lot of fun. This should really be a great time at a fantastic place on a phenomenal golf course. The show will focus on the new PGA Tour University program, which was created to provide access to the Corn Ferry Tour and international tours for the top four-year college players. The top five finishers on the final official PGA Tour University ranking list will receive Corn Ferry Tour membership and will be exempted to all full field events beginning the week following the NCAA Division I's Men National Championship through the conclusion of the Corn Ferry Tour regular season. They will also be exempt into the final stage of that year's Corn Ferry Tour qualifying tournament. It's nice that we're able to play on TV and they're gonna get to see what some of the best college players in the country can do. It's phenomenal. I think it's going to be great for college golf in general. People see the opportunities now that college golfers are getting. So to be able to have this opportunity to showcase our skill set and kind of show people who we are is really cool. There's never been anything like this for college golf. And I'm very thankful I'm in the very first class to get use of it, and I'm very excited about it. Well, the 2020 PXG College Golf Showcase at Scottsdale National is conducted without spectators, but all individuals at Scottsdale National Golf Club for the event have been tested and have received a negative test result prior to coming on site. We actually had 172 tests, all negative. We have our own little bubble right here at Scottsdale, don't we, Aaron? We do, and what a fantastic bubble it has been. The food, the service, the villas we're all staying in are all part of the PXG experience, and we all got to sample it for ourselves. Well, the festivities, they kicked off last night at a welcome dinner right here at Scottsdale National. The welcome dinner was an opportunity for the teams to meet each other and yes, enjoy some of the outstanding cuisine here at Scottsdale National Golf Club. Now the PXG College Golf Showcase was conceived by Fidelity Sports Group in response to college golf fall schedules, which were directly impacted and many canceled tournaments due to COVID-19. That's right, Lauren. With the new PGA Tour University program rankings and Corn Ferry and PGA Tour International Tour exemptions, this event seemed to be the perfect platform to promote and showcase the stories and talent of elite college golfers in a fun environment as they play with iconic stars from the sports and entertainment world. But Aaron, we've got to talk about the co-owners of Scottsdale National, Bob and Renee Parsons. They immediately fell in love with the idea. They got behind the event with PXG, Parsons Extreme Golf, and Scottsdale National being lead 
sponsors. Now the teams, they will go head to head in a scramble skin shootout for $1 million awarded by the Bob and Renee Parsons Foundation. Our team will be playing for two amazing charities though. The Semper Fi and America's Fund is dedicated to providing immediate financial assistance and lifetime support to combat wounded, critically ill and catastrophically injured members of all branches of the U.S. Armed Forces and their families. Our second charity is Team Rubicon. Their mission is providing relief to those affected by disaster no matter when or where they strike. By pairing the skills and experiences of military veterans with first responders, medical professionals, and technology solutions, Team Rubicon aims to provide the greatest service and impact possible. There's a lot on the line here. It's going to be exciting, so let's meet our teams. Playing for Team Semper Fi and America's Fund, University of Arizona Wildcat Trevor Werbelow. Also SMU Mustang, Mac Meisner. These 2020 All-Americans are joined by celebrities, singer, songwriter, and four handicap, Darius Rucker. Also comedic actor and nine handicapper, Rob Riggle. How about our walking scorer though, PXG hero, Marine Master Sergeant, Davey Lind. Playing for Team Rubicon, Oklahoma State Cowboy, Austin Eckroat. University of Oklahoma Sooner, Garrett Reband. These two will partner with NFL Hall of Famers, former Chicago Bear linebacker and three handicapper Brian Erlocker, and former Pittsburgh Steeler running back, six handicap Jerome Bettis, and walking scorer, PXG hero, Army Corporal Chad Pfeiffer. Our competition today is a $1 million skins game scramble format with a little twist to liven up the action. That little twist is on each hole, one shot per team must be played by a celebrity, Lauren. When we come back, we'll hear more about PGA Tour University and, of course, the exquisitely beautiful link style layout in the Sonoran Desert. Scottsdale Nationals, the other course. We'll also introduce you to four of the top college golfers and their celeb teammates and get the Scramble Skins game for $1 million underway. And you'll see how a nine hole par three course might be the toughest in the world. Plus, you won't believe some of the incredible shots our collegiate stars and announcer hit. That and more is coming up next. The PXG College Golf Showcase is presented by PXG. Nobody makes golf clubs the way we do, period. And by Scottsdale National Golf Club, the way golf should be played. And Tori, the worldwide leader in golf course maintenance equipment and irrigation. Welcome back to Scottsdale, Arizona and Scottsdale National Golf Club benefiting our charities Team Rubicon and Semper Fi in America's Fund. So yesterday afternoon, the players got to take a crack at the fun and incredibly challenging Bad Little Nine par three course here at Scottsdale National. With its plethora of deep bunkers, extensive humps and bumps, giant mounds and gnarly greens, you can quickly see why the scorecard warns, enter at your own risk. So our teams were joined by their scorekeepers, PXG heroes, Chad Pfeiffer and Davey Lind, and some of their coaches who are also serving as their caddies in this event. When the players got to the Bad Little Nine's ninth hole, or as owner Bob Parsons named it, the 99th hole, Matt Adams from our announced team had a little surprise for them. Starting with our PXG heroes, then our celebrities, then the players, each of you will be hitting one shot on this diabolical little 99-yard hole. Bob Parsons calls this the 99th hole with its tiny 999-square-foot green and the closest to the pin will start tomorrow having won, ready for this, $100,000 to start your team off tomorrow. <laughs> Chad, you are up first. Davey is up now. This one's right. Into the bunker it goes. Jerome Bettis. Darius Rucker is up. Said he's gonna hit a little baby draw on this one's hanging out there to the right. 
into the bunker. Rob Riggle. And Brian Urlacher. He's on his way. This one's looking good. Coming back to the flag. We have a candidate. Austin will lead the way for the lads. Austin shot on its way, looking good. Hunting right over the flag, spin it back. Solid. Trevor, you are up next. Well, this one is dead on target, too. Spin back. Garrett is up next for Team Rubicon. So it leaves us with Mac, bringing it back to the flag. Hits, spins. They tell us that Austin has hit the closest shot. That means that Team Rubicon will be starting $100,000 ahead tomorrow. Well, Aaron, you and I had quite the experience ourselves right here at Scottsdale National yesterday. We got to enjoy the bad little nine and some of the college players, but AO, it was you that hit one of the most incredible shots I saw all day. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I, I was inspired, I think, by the college players that we were playing with for sure. But uh, it was nice, it was interesting. We got on the first hole and got to see David Kahn and he gave me a great line and he landed the ball real close to where mine landed and, and he rolled right over the edge. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I'm just trying, gonna try to hit, he knows where he's going and, and David's a very good player. So I hit it literally a foot away from where his ball landed and mine ended up going in the hole. So it was, it was, it was pretty exciting. That was number 10 for me. So that was, that was number fun. 10. Number Double 10. digits, unbelievable. I've never had a one on the card either. Did I not call it? Like 30 seconds before you hit that shot, I go, I know there's an ace in this group somewhere. You, you said those exact words. That was verbatim. And then all of a sudden, David Kahn practically lips it out, and then mine goes in. It was, it was pretty prophetic. And then after the bad little nine, you hadn't had enough yet. You were still hungry. You went back out there with some Pe of the college peer, players. Peer pressure. I'll tell you what, it, it's, it's impressive to watch the way these kids hit and, and to hear the numbers that they're hitting it from and the clubs that they're using, considering what I'm looking in my bag and I'm going, oh my gosh, this is a different game that these guys are playing these days than from when I played in college. It's a lot of fun and it's, it's, uh, and it's a great opportunity to watch these kids play uh, at this level, at this high of a level. Um, with something as big on the line as what they're playing for in PGA Tour U and the exemptions that they get and uh, through PGA Tour University. We caught up with SMU's own Mac Meisner and his caddy this week and coach Chris Para. Mac's an amazing talent. He's almost always in the top five. He's won several tournaments. He performs well under pressure. What I've learned from Coach Para especially is that one bad round doesn't define me and it's just so important to be able to enjoy it. It's hard sometimes. Golf beats you up, knocks you down, and to be able to learn that from someone who's spent 15 years out on tour has been really cool. He balances having a 4.0 in school, which to me is absolutely amazing in the business school. I've always put such a big emphasis on my academics and doing well in school because you never know what's gonna happen. I'm pumped for Mac. I mean, he works so hard. You know, I, I, I don't do any of this for accolades. I do it because I love helping kids. And to see it pay off for him is huge to me. It's great. We'll introduce four of the top college golfers and their celeb teammates and get the Scramble Skins game for $1 million underway from the PXG College Showcase at Scottsdale National when we come back. Welcome back, everyone. Glad to have you with us. The PXG College Golf Showcase. Let's go out to Matt Adams on the first tee where our teams have arrived and are ready to go. Absolute delight, Lauren, to welcome you guys down to the first tee. We're getting ready to get started with this PXG College Golf Showcase. You can see the team assembled here behind me. So give me the opportunity, if you would, to say hello to a couple of folks as we get started. First of all, our PXG heroes that will be score uh, keeping for us today and carrying the standards. Say hi to Chad Pfeiffer over here. Welcome, Chad. Thank you for yeah. being with us. Davey Lynn is here as well. Say hi to another hero over here. And the list of heroes in stars continues. So we are going to get started now with the players. Then we're going to move forward. And I'll actually formally announce to you our celebrities as well that you can see aligned. Now, here's the big news. 
Yesterday, Bob and Renee Parsons got us started because on the last hole of the bad little nine, they call it the 99th hole, it was the ninth hole, Austin, he hit it closest to the pin and started Team Rubicon with $100,000 on the way. Yes, indeed. Now, as you guys know, you are competing today for $900,000 for charity. I know, Rob, it's gonna make you grip that club a little bit tighter, so <laughs> we're ready to get going. All right, Garrett, why don't you hit the first tee ball today? It's, it's a, it, this, this format is that it's four skins and they have to use the celebrity shots. The first hole here on the other course at Scottsdale National, Jackrabbit, is a 400-yard par four that plays slightly uphill, half a club about, to an elevated green. All right, Garrett. Hey now, hey now, hey now. Ho! Oh. You breathe in or out when you swing. <laughs> <laughs> breathe through your eyelids. <laughs> Ho! Good shot. There's a big one right down the left center. That is absolutely gorgeous right there. It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Unbelievable. Garrett Reband has a ton of speed, and that was on display right there. All right, so Austin is up next. Big wide fairway here at the first. Tons of room to the left. Oh, my goodness. Very well struck. Similar line. Beautiful right there, Matt. About maybe a yard of draw on that one, Aaron. Mac is ready to go. He had two holes in one yesterday on the bad little nine. We went around a second time, and he made it on number nine. Gravy. Perfect. Beautiful golf swing. Little, little fade. That'll be on the right side of the fairway, and that'll be in good shape. Trevor Werbelo from the University of Arizona. Ow! My partners are on fire. That's, that's, the, that's the, another one just up the right side. To the next set of tees we go. So now we'll get up here where the celebrities will tee off. Absolute stars and legends with us at this very special PXG College Golf Showcase. Jerome Bettis is going to get us started here yeah. today. Don't start with me. <laughs> start with like somebody it. else. Yeah. Team Rubicon. You got to start with somebody else. I hate my last name starts. <laughs> my last name starts with a B. I'm always first. Great hands I've heard this man has. Yes, sir. Oh, On display yes. right there. Proving just what you said. I think any nerves are kicking at this point? Oh, I think for these guys, that they're not used to doing this. They're used to, they're used to having their sport and playing their sport where they, I'm sure they were nervous there, but they knew what they were doing. This is a different atmosphere for them. So I'm gonna imagine their nerves are there. Absolutely perfect. Nice little cut from Brian Erlocker. The Bears great. And you know, Brian Erlocker, one of his priorities, if you know his heart, it's all about giving back to the troops, those who have served. He has been overseas to pay homage in person, and here he is in an event that does just that as well. All four of these guys are out here because they want to be here, Lauren. There's no doubt. They love this. They love what Bob and Renee Parsons stand for in their charitable givings. Tell us honest, how, how much you feel nerves right now? Not at all. Uh, this is yeah. the best I've ever felt in my whole life. <laughs> Let's see how it manifests itself in the tee shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I did learn a new trick on the driving range today. Let's give it a shot, see what happens, huh? <laughs> oh, no! Stay there. Okay, so they Keep won't be taking that one. That one, that one I think is going to find the desert. Oh, That's right. Kick to the left. <laughs> Hang in there. Stay there. Uh, thank God to team sport. <laughs> Now, Darius is a member here. I played the bad little nine with him yesterday. He knows the course. And he's a very serious player and enjoys it. Hey, and that go. is absolutely perfect. Too easy. There we go. And we're off and running, just like that. That'll work. Every time you get up there, even if it's just a bunch of your friends and a bunch of people like this, it's nerve wracking because 
you know, everybody wants to hit a good shot and look good. So. Why were you staring down Brian Erlach? You just figured go after the biggest guy first? No, we're both, uh, Brian and I are both members out here. We see each other all the time out here, giving each other. We play a lot and we give each other a lot of crap. So that'll be going on all day. Well done. <laughs> Let's see how these finish up. And then we'll all right, the Sempter Fi in America's Fun has chosen celebrity tee shot Darius Rucker. Because remember, they have to use the, the celebs here. 128 to the front on this opening par four. Oh. This one going just a little to the right. It's got to get up a little bit, maybe. OK, OK. Not oh. what he wanted, not bad. Oh, <laughs> you can that's tell come by his at, actions, he's trying to get it go. to behave. This Jackson Con design takes vengeance on the first, first guy. They were talking about Max holes in one yesterday, one of the official competition, and then following when they went back out in what they call the bad little nine here, the little par three course. That one should be all right. That one should be up on top and give him a good look. All right, Jerome Bettis is going to get started here to carry the front. Oh, there's the bus trying to play it low, run it up there. I think that's going to work. Yeah, that's going to be just fine. And Austin now, all ready for Team Rubicon. He who earned them $100,000. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Those are going to be good. Boy, that looked fantastic right there as well. These greens are rolling fast. Time to find out what they can do with the flat stick. high-five and just a little. Y'all get a look at this? So Rob's going to lead the I'm way. With, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. This has got a little bit of speed and then a lot of speed. A little dip right before the whole location. Yep, there's the downslope right there. And now it'll just gather turn speed. Back, turn back. Oh, oh, great putt. Oh, great what a putt. Great putt. Great putt. Great putt. Great putt. Yeah. Great putt. You all see? All right, so here we go with Austin. Earned $100,000 for the team yesterday. Can he earn them $25,000 to start today? I made it. Oh, yeah. no way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, There's a premium on putting already. You can tell. Premium is definitely on putting and chipping around here in second shots. The first hole is halved with pars. We go to the second hole, which is worth $50,000. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Darius Rucker. Be back for more fun right here on the PXG College Golf Showcase. Welcome back to the PXG College Golf Showcase. On the second hole, Rattler, worth 50000 Mac Meisner ripped a big drive for Team Semper Fi in America's Fund, and Team Rubicon again used Brian Erlocker's drive. After a celebs tried to reach the green and miss, Mac Meisner will attempt to reach the par five and two, Go in. 265 Go in. feet. Go in. Stop. <laughs> Telling him to go in, golf claps all around. Return at the Kujoka. <laughs> Garrett Reband set to go. That one looked like he tried to play a big old draw right there. We spoke with University of Oklahoma star Garrett Reband and his coach, Ryan Hibble. I had watched Garrett quite a bit. Um, my other assistant at the time had watched him quite a bit. We knew he was a gamer. Great short game, really good putter, phenomenal around the green. My mom ingrained hard work in me and always just pushing myself to the limits. And I was able to graduate a year early. Just got to that point where he'd come up on some visits and really felt the vibe. And sure enough, after one event, he just called me up and said, Coach, I want to be an Oklahoma Center. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. The way he works with us, he's so engaged always in practice and when we're playing. And he always wants to be a part of what we're doing, which is really cool. I think it's because we all have one goal in mind, and that's to win a national championship, and we'll do whatever it takes to takes to get there. A lot of hard work and dedication. Never stop grinding in this game. 
I know he's excited about this golf course. We've actually been out here before. We're a PXG school and team, so I've been able to take my guys around here. This is a phenomenal place. It's in great shape, and uh, I know he's, he's excited about the week. I, of course, wanted to be a part of it, and I knew it was gonna be a special event, and I'm glad to be here and thankful to be here. Brian Urlacher is up. This is for Eagle. Oh! oh no. Darius Rucker will go next. With the opportunity to make Maybe. Eagle Maybe. and the skin. Oh. All right, so we got a carryover, Lauren. This is one, next hole will be worth $75,000. On to the 239-yard par three third hole. Killer B, and for the third time in a row, Team Rubicon used Brian Urlacher's tee shot For Team Semper Fi and America's Fun comedian and actor and Marine, Rob Riggle stepped up with a hybrid in hand. This one trying to move towards the flag, trying to get it to fade, signal it, signaling it to fade. Go in. Go in. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Close knowledge. Jerome Bettis poured in his birdie putt. You get it? Got, got it. Bottom of the cup, though, for Bettis. And Rob Riggle made his natural two with the carryover on the third hole. The par five fourth will be worth $100,000. I thought we were gonna win that one. Uh, maybe. I looked at the lineup of people that are coming in, and I'm not just talking about celebrities, I'm talking about the college athletes, I'm talking about the coaches, the staff here, um, uh, the veterans. This is gonna sound corny, so forgive me, but I'm looking forward to maybe making some new friends, you know, that you build relationships out here. And and I know some of the guys already, but this is an opportunity to meet some of the other guys. Hall of Famer. That was a beautiful oh, yeah. swing right. there. Perfectly played. I think the nerves are gone, Matt. I think you're right. It looks it looks daunting from the tee in this hole, too. So let's send it down to Travis. All right, so you got a question for the big guy here, right? I do. So for a young college guy like me looking in, wanting to turn pro, what kind of advice or tip would you have for me? Hmm. I think you're lucky you have a very good coach, a good, good guy to lean on. Uh, you you kind of, talent-wise, there's no doubt you can play at the next level. It's just a matter of doing the right time. And I think working hard, keep doing what you're doing, Finish your, I think if you got free school, keep going to school, do that. <laughs> but you're doing the right things. Like you have a good, good guy to lean on, like I said, with your coach, your teammates, and talk to them, get good advice, and try and make the right decisions. Perfect. You're going to make it out. There's no doubt with your golf game, you can make it. It's just a matter of doing the right things and going down the right path. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, for sure. Okay. Gary. Sound advice. You 380. Trevor Werbelow is now up, going for the green in two. Austin Eckert will try to give his team an eagle attempt. That counts. Uh, that counts. That's the one there. Oh, that's in the desert. That's really good. That's in the desert. They landed just on top of the hill. That's money. That's why we don't count. I don't know if it qualifies for Darius. Certainly would qualify for the players behind him if this doesn't drop. Oh, oh grand. What a putt. Excellent effort. It's a turn. Did he get it? Did he get it? Oh, How about oh, it? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, well, Darius and nine. Austin came close. Everyone missed their eagle putts, and the teams tied the fourth hole with Birdie. With another carryover, that makes the fifth hole worth $135,000. But well, welcome back. Today at the PXG College Golf Showcase, we're playing a four-man scramble skins game, but you might wonder how we're allowed to play an eightsome at this exclusive private club. That's because owner Bob Parsons says, here at Scottsdale National, there's just one rule. A private golf club membership comes with many things, including a whole host of rules. 
But at Scottsdale National Golf Club, there is only one. No member shall impinge upon another member's enjoyment of the club. That's it, one rule. This unconventional philosophy informs everything they do because the one rule is about enjoyment through liberation. Secluded in the grandeur of the Sonoran Desert, surrounded by three million acres of preserved land and forest, Scottsdale National is a sanctuary where members can disappear and carry on. With no homes lining the pristine fairways, it's like golfing in a national park. The exclusive membership, which includes some of the world's most successful, fun, and interesting people, allows the one rule to flourish. That's where the fun really begins. Anytime is on time. No tea times required. Use your phone, listen to music, play with eight or 16 people in a single group, wear your hat in a clubhouse, wear cutoffs if you like. You get the idea. But don't confuse the one rule with a free for all. Privacy and discretion are hallmarks of Scottsdale National Golf Club and respect for fellow members is paramount. The one rule simply brings together those golfers who share Bob's belief that this is golf as it should be played. The fifth hole at the other course, Buzzard, is a very long par four measuring 519 yards from the tips with a generous fairway. A good drive will leave a long second shot into a massive 25,000 square foot undulating green. Let's go to number five where the teams will be vying for the day's first skin and $135,000. Garrett Rebound, set to go. Mm, nice. Sounded good. Okay, Austin Eckrote, ready to hit from Oklahoma State University, currently fourth in the PGA Tour University rankings. It's fine. Ball there. She plays. Now, Trevor Werbelow from the University of Arizona. 70.4 scoring average in 2020, second lowest in program history, and that's saying a lot at the University of Arizona. Good ball, Trevor. Mac Meisner to hit. Travis has one of our caddies down on the tee. All right, here with uh, head coach, Oklahoma State, Alan Bratton. He's caddying today for Austin Eckrode. He knows a thing or two about caddying. You've caddied for uh, two U.S. amateur champs, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I've been really fortunate to be standing next to our guys doing some pretty cool things. And and uh, this is going on the list, too. What a, what a great experience for, for all these kids to hang out with these celebrities and, and watch some high-caliber golf so far. So Peter Uerlein, right? And then um, Victor Hovland, right? Two U.S. amateur champs. Austin, obviously a great player. You were a great player. He won the national championship, Oklahoma State, as a player, an assistant, and a head coach. Is that right? That is. I'm glad we've got somebody old enough maybe to remember that stuff. So uh, I've been really blessed. Oklahoma State's been great to me, and uh, it's provided me some wonderful uh, experiences, and uh, it's great to be able to add, add to it like this. It was cool last night to hear Bob Parsons tell the kids not to take themselves too seriously. And today is a perfect example of that. And I think it's raising their level of play. Talk about Austin for a second. He seems like a very confident player. He's got good speed. He's, he's well-rounded. He's going to be a good pro, isn't he? Yeah, he's, uh, it's been really cool. The trajectory of his improvement from you know, junior high to now has been awesome to watch being an Oklahoma kid, getting to see him at a young age. And he just gets a little bit better every single year. And you know, the last hole was a good example of what he's got. The, the team, it was down to kind of his shot. And he stepped up and performed. And, and, uh, you know, he's been doing that for us for a long time and hopefully will on tour for a long time. All right, great. Thanks for your time. Let's go make a birdie. No. It's off for the snakes on that one, buddy. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, I can't believe this, but Team Rubicon is taking Brian Erlacher's drive for the fifth straight hole. That's been a big advantage as the college players' second and third shots can be used, but they have not converted it to a skin yet. Ah, straight ball. It's the biggest green on the property, and the story behind it's pretty interesting, actually. They had to, to oh, be able shoot. to water this green and to bring it in. They, Jackson Kahn actually had to bury a sprinkler in the middle of the screen. And then when it was done coming in, they actually capped the sprinkler head and then covered it up and let the rest grow in. And the flag in the back left, this is a tough one from what I've been told. Yes. I haven't played this flag Be myself good. yet. Don't go left of it, don't go left. You do not want to go long. Austin Eck wrote, ready to go from 179. 
Swing. Good solid shot. This will come in right Check. of the whole location again on this massive green. Rob Riggle. Starting at right, but that's not going to hook. Off to the right. It's going to stay to the right, probably. Okay, we're dancing. Catch a piece, but that is going to be probably the longest putt on the golf course. This green is massive. <laughs> that is far away. Oh, that's far away from the band. All right, here's Mac. Bring a little eight iron here. Back left pin. I think he's licking his chops. He likes to work it right to left. Yeah, it's the big slinger here. It's turning in. Let me just right of the pin here. See if it's the right weight. Yeah, it's gonna be a good shot there. Oh, 30 feet, 25 feet. Now Trevor here, the wildcat. Beautiful drive here off the tee from Trevor. A little eight iron as well. Not gonna aim quite as far right. He didn't like to move it quite as much. Beautiful swing here. This looks good. Turning in nicely. Be the right club. Yeah, that's a good one there. Way to go, way to go. Ryan Urlacher with the first roll at birdie here on number five. It's moving. Wow, really solid play from Brian Urlacher so far today. Travis, you told me yesterday that Jerome Bettis had really good hands. What are you seeing here in his well, he, efforts? He is really good distance control. We were, we played yesterday, and he made a number of putts. We saw earlier in the round hold a nice putt. A little faster today. That one's carrying some speed. He's not going to quite turn in. But look at that. Just, you know, two feet just past the hole. The big man's got great touch. Now Garrett Reband to try for birdie. Beautiful roll, good speed, but this one breaks a little too much. Austin with the last try for Team Rubicon, That's and so he's so hit bad. it through the break. I mean, ooh, so ooh. that leaves it to Semper Fi and America's Fund with a chance at birdie and the first skin today worth $135,000. Darius Rucker over the 12-foot putt. Yeah. yeah! Come on! Let's go. Let's go. And there it is, $135,000 so to the Semper Fi and America's oh, Fund. Job, all right, we're on the board. 135,000, big putt. How did it feel good? Felt good. Felt real good. You know, they, you know, the pros giving you a line and everything makes it a lot easier. Just hit it where they hit it. You still got to make the putt, Darius, and you stepped up there and did it. It was nice. It was nice. Now I get to talk coach off trash to Brian, so that's good. You guys got the C now. So I know, dark feet. <laughs> Through five holes, Team Semper Fi and America's Fund now leads with $135,000, while Team Rubicon has $100,000 from the closest to the pin yesterday on the bad little nine. Mac Meisner, SMU, don't go away. We'll be back with more from the PXG College Golf Showcase. Last night, Matt Adams hosted a mentor roundtable with our college golfers and aspiring future PGA Tour players with entrepreneur, founder of GoDaddy, PXG, and Scottsdale National, Bob Parsons. Tonight is a a really cool and really unique opportunity because we have a chance to, to pick the brain of this man. I, I can't think of another time and place where young men your age that are trying to decide what to do and where to go would have the opportunity to, to sit with someone that has accomplished what he has accomplished. Trev, why don't you, why don't you lead off with the questions from you boys? I was just wondering what, if you could quantify one thing that maybe gave you an edge over the competition. Could separate well, there was, you from there was one, one huge thing. You know, my, my, my father always told me, when you love something, it tells you all its secrets. 
You ever come across something like that? You see one guy working because he loves it and other people because it's a job? Bet on the guy that loves it. Mac, what do you got? How you find the balance between being able to stay competitive but also enjoy it and not take, not take yourself too seriously at the same time. Not taking yourself too seriously and um, um, is, is, is easy to say, tougher to do. Sure. So what you got to do is you have to learn to have fun when you play. And, and if you can get your head around that, then it won't tighten up, you'll be lighter, and brother, you'll be a record holder. And you know, one of my favorite sayings is, we're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time. <laughs> I know you guys are all on board with that, right? Oh yeah, oh, yeah absolutely. <laughs> awesome, what do you got? So at what point does having more money not change your lifestyle? You know, I'll tell you what, I didn't think there'd be one question here tonight I couldn't answer, but that's one of them. <laughs> um, you know, it, it depends upon a couple things. And believe it or not, one of them is not how much money you have. Having more money is not going to change your life. It depends upon what's important to you. Now, the thing about having more money is sometimes you can do things you couldn't do without, without that money. You can take your, your wife or your, friend, your family to a better dinner, or maybe you can get a little nicer car, or, or something like that, it really isn't gonna change your life. You're just gonna have those couple high notes. I, and, and so uh, the, the thing with money is, it enables you to do certain things. Now, one of the things it enables us to do is to give it away. Um, uh, Renee and I have signed the, uh, the, the giving pledge. We're gonna give at least half of everything we, we own to uh, charity after we move on to the next life. And, um, and, and, and we're excited about that. But, um, you, know, the, you know, the saying is, is money can't buy happiness. It just makes things easier, sometimes. All right. Garrett, wake up. So how did GoDaddy come about and how did you come up with the name for that? So when we started doing this, the noise from the dot-com boom was, you know what I mean? All these dot-com, new dot-com companies, crazy wild ideas, we're doing all sorts of stuff, and um, paying stupid money for advertising, we can buy any. So um, I said, first thing we need is a good name. So the name GoDaddy happened after about three or four after work sessions with uh, a lady that I work with, her name was Barbara Rechterman, and um, we came up with all kind of names, either taken or not interested. And the last night, she said or I said, how about Fat Daddy? Taken. Big Daddy, taken. And then on America Online, they had this command. You type go, but when you wanted to, and then your command. I said, how about Go Daddy? Available. We were exhausted. I bought it as a joke. So the next day, I told everybody, at the all the employees were gonna change the name to GoDaddy.com. They're going, that is a terrible name. I don't have that, that, that. And it stuck. I have a feeling, guys, that this night is something you will remember for the rest of your life. This was an incredibly rare opportunity. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks, guys. Real honor having each and every one of you here. I wish you all the very best. Uh, you're all exceptional individuals. My kind of people. Thank you, yes, sir. Thanks, Thanks for having us. 12, 12 feet. Easy 12. I, I thought it was 12. I thought it was, it was a 12 footer. It was downhill, had so much They're speed. still no buzzing way. about that birdie putt on the fifth hole made by Darius Rucker of Team Semper Fi and America's Fund for a hefty $135,000. The first three big three skin three may have been settled, but the trash talk between yeah. the two teams yeah. is far from over. Yeah. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. It was, there was doubt. There was doubt the entire way. <laughs> There was doubt until it went in. It went in. It was doubt the entire way. Hole six is worth thirty-five thousand, and after great shots by Trevor Werbelow and Jerome Bettis, the team's tied with birdie. The seventh hole, Pack Rat, is a par four of four hundred and nineteen yards and is worth seventy thousand dollars. Up on the tee, Trevor Werbelow bombs his drive. You're making my job easy here. Exactly. Nice.
Nice shot. Now, Brian Erlacher. Brian has come up big off the tee for his team. His drive leaves Austin Eckroat just a wedge into the green. That sounded good. A little more of a direct line. Yeah, Set it right there. That's a golf shot. And a good shot by Trevor for Team Semper Fi and America's Fund. <laughs> good shot. Go, go in. Here's a birdie attempt for Team Semper Fi and America's Fund. Uh, Does he give it the wriggle, wriggle, wiggle? Rob wiggle. Yes. The, the wriggle, wiggle, wiggle. It strikes again. Now rebound for Team Rubicon's birdie. Oh, Thank good putt. Of course, it had to be the. All right. You know, so right carries now, over. <laughs> On the par 5 8, Trevor Werbelo hits a big drive once again. We caught up with University of Arizona's Trevor Werbelo and his coach and caddy, Jim Anderson. Trevor has composure that most college kids don't demonstrate. It's a little nerve wracking as a coach, especially when he was a little bit younger, when we didn't really know his tendencies. You'd see him playing and you'd maybe see him short-sighted or somewhere where you didn't want to be and you'd be like, oh man, maybe our freshman's not doing so well. But he'd come in and he'd be three, four, six under par. Definitely from the outside looks like I, nothing phases me and whatnot, but that's not necessarily true. I, you know, I beat myself up a little bit and, and sometimes I think I, I put too much pressure on myself, but I think I've gotten more mature and I understand how I play my best golf. His confidence continues to inflate at a perfect rate and I think he's positioned himself for success at the professional level. Jerome Bettis is up now. All right, now here's Brian. Here he likes to start at left, peel it just a little bit to the right. And there it is, starts left, peeling back to the right. This as well is a good looking shot. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, what a great shot. How good is that? What a fantastic second shot that sets up an ego putt for Erlacher. What a great shot. Darius hit his second shot in the bunker here on eight, but it's in that back bunker where it, he actually might have, the team might have a great chance to get that up and down with where that hole is located. Now we're below from the bunker. They chose this shot because they said they have a backstop behind them. Oh, what a great shot. Close to the pin, that should be a birdie. Now Erlocker with the opportunity to make eagle and the skin. Oh, misses. This leaves the last try for eagle to Austin Eckroth. Austin's been kind of the anchor man for this team on the greens. Fantastic putter he has been in his career for Oklahoma State. Wow. That was a $105,000 putt. What a putt by Austin Eckroat. Team Rubicon makes the putt and the eagle and the skin. I was talking to your coach and I was like, I don't know, Austin strikes me, he wants the ball in his hand for mm -hmm. the big putt. You like that, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, I was actually a little nervous there. Were you really? Mean, yeah, I had a, heart rate was up and uh, actually a perfect putt, so yeah, I definitely like it in my hands. 105,000 Team Rubicon, great putt. Thank you. Thanks. After eight holes with $205,000, Team Rubicon leads Team Semper Fi and America's Fund, who have $135,000. Welcome back, everyone. Glad to have you with us. The PXG College Golf Showcase. Let's send it right out to Matt Adams, who's got a little wrinkle in our format as our players on the ninth hole. So we've got a, a special announcement for you here. It, it will impact this ninth hole and also impact the 11th hole. Here, this is where the Vietnam tribute marker is on this hole. And, and, and Rob, I know that's particularly special for you. So we're doing something special on this hole and on the 11th hole. 
and that is our PXG heroes are going to be playing with their, your respective teams and their shots will count. So each of you get an extra guy in the heroes that are. Enjoy, gents. Catfish, the ninth hole at Scottsdale Nationals. The other course is 163 yard par three over water to a narrow, extremely steep and sloping green. It is the only hole on the golf course where water is present. Garrett Rebound, set to go. Austin Eckroad is up now. Oh my god. Oh, that was fantastic right there. Just behind the hole. Now it's Trevor Werbelow's turn. That is good. Like butter. Only butter. Oh my I might have to get up. Oh, that might be catch that ridge. Yep, here it comes. You guys were waiting for that too, but Okay. Oh man. Mac Meisner now to hit. See the ball. I like See the this. ball. Get okay, close. Just keep drawing in. Get close. Oh! Back up. Go in. Oh! Oh my goodness. We almost had another one this Mac. week. Mac. Return of the mat. What a Mac. shot. Return of the mat. Return of the mat. <laughs> Jerome Bettis is ready to go. Overall, Aaron, the quality of play that we've seen from the celebrities today has been excellent. Brian Urlacher is up. Oh, oh. Where's I'm going to trap. Where's I'm going cut? to trap. That's a safe shot there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now Darius Rucker will hit next. Oh, yeah. Go. Go. There's a slope. Go. If it catches it, it's going to bring it down towards the hole. Go down the hill. Oh, it's fun back. Now it just bounced backwards instead of forward there for him. I'm closer than you. <laughs> Closer to you. Now Rob Riggle is up. Oh, that looked like a good golf swing there. Might be going a little left, Matt. Yep. Oh, that'll find that bunker. That's all right. They got a good one up there. Chad Pfeiffer, a familiar face to our Golf Channel viewers. He was on Big Break the Palm Beaches. He was on Shot Makers. We've seen him perform in competition at the Diamond Resorts Tournament of Champions. And Lauren, I can promise you, and I can tell you that this man can play some golf. Oh, yeah. Lucky enough to play nine holes with him the other day, and he was spotless. Oh, he crushed it. Come down. God, I look good. Come down. Come down. Come down. There's a little swale right up in that upper right-hand corner of the green, and that's why it's caught both of those. That was pure, dude. Davy now. How about Davy? How about that swing? Cut a little bit for him. Cut a bit, a little bit for him. Get down. Well, that was a heck of a swing. I think he was. I think he was pumped up a little yeah. bit there. Davy, a double nice amputee, actually go, took Davey. up the game Great of golf job. during his 15 months of rehab job, after losing his legs from the knee down. Surprise announcement for everyone that they were partaking because of the significance of this hole and the Vietnam tribute marker that's upon it. Using Jerome Bettis' shot from the tee enables all of Team Rubicon to attempt the birdie putt. That's a good putt. <laughs> oh. Right here's a sooner now. See if he can just a little more speed through that line. Ooh, I oh yeah, he did. That's got plenty break, of speed. Break, break, break oh, oh. Hey, I like the aggressiveness. Good job. Yeah. You can, Good you job. Can take it out again. It's about time. This is a fifty thousand dollar hole. Firm. Should you do it again? Oh. Wow! Oh, do it to him! Do it to him! How about oh, that? I've ever seen. <laughs> ever. There's do some head shaking him. going hey, on. Uh, uh, not sure you guys know, but you, all right, not, not I'm not going to say, let's tighten it up. <laughs> <laughs> Something's tightening up. 
Come on, Chad, get on him. Team Semper Fi and America's Fun used Mac that's Miser's tea shop. Saying. Only the celebs and PXG yeah, hero yeah, Davey yeah, Lynn yeah. can try to make the birdie to tie. Yep, that's all. Enough said, buddy. Perfect. Please go in. Please go in. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Snatch it in there. <laughs> well, well. Please, go, please, in there. please go in. Please go in. Let's go, guys. Hey, go. Please go in. Man. I do like everybody got position to heckle, though. No, no, please yeah. don't make me have a fun that. Please. Through nine holes, Team Rubicon has won $205,000, and Team Semper Fi and America's Fund has won $135,000. When we come back, number 10 will be worth $100,000. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for being with us for the inaugural PXG College Showcase at Scottsdale National here at the beautiful and challenging Scottsdale National Golf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona. Well, the entire property here at Scottsdale National is just exceptional, and I'm so grateful to have the chance to be here and to enjoy it. So to find out more about how it was created, we spoke with co-owner Renee Parsons. We really wanted to have a sense of place. Uh, know that you are in the Sonoran Desert, you're in the Southwest, and we're doing it through the materials, the woods, the warm colors, the stone. And so all of those things come together to really create a feeling that you just feel when you walk in the door. From sunrise to golden hour to the deep quiet of night in the Sonoran Desert, Scottsdale National is the ultimate refuge for its members, a place that embodies Bob and Renee Parsons' limitless approach to life and the spirit of enjoyment. Structures rise out of the earth with a natural beauty that is seductive and timeless. Lines seamlessly blur indoor and out, and every nuance in between is executed with intention. From conception of the property itself to the exceptional service that brings it to life, Scottsdale National's pulse is wildly different and distinctively appealing. We have reimagined the private club experience to create a unique sense of place unlike anywhere else that inspires living in the moment. Lively encounters and remarkable service, camaraderie and community are all hallmarks of the Scottsdale National Experience, an experience that is truly alive and in full color. 10th hole, which is worth $100,000, Austin Eckroat outdrove everyone. Good boss. And on his second shot, he came oh so close to holding it for a near double eagle. Yes. Come on now. That's going to sit really soft. This looks good. Austin Eck wrote a very sound golf swing, and he does two things on the way down that I see with so many great ball strikers, and the first is right here in transition, that lead wrist, it's working towards flexion. It's flattening out. It's bowing a little bit, a la Dustin Johnson. He's not pulling down on it, or he's cupping the lead wrist. He's flattening it out. Now the shaft can shallow back behind him. And then from there, now he can rotate. Look at this left hip showing up early. He hasn't even hit it yet. And he's already rotating and getting out of the way. You see this with so many young players today. Shallow it out and rotate through the strike. Now the handle returns right to the same angle as it started. And when you see that, well, this is a golfer that can work the golf ball in any direction on command. With the college stars rooting the NFL Hall of Famers on. Brian Erlacher converts the four footer for another eagle and $100,000 giving Team Rubicon total winnings of $305,000 and the lead. This special 11th hole featuring the Marine Corps tribute is worth $50,000. Number 11 Devil Dog is an absolutely beautiful 140 yard par three that's been built right out of the desert by designers Jackson Kahn. First up for our leaders, Team Rubicon is gonna be Garrett Reband. Free to self, good shot. Now Austin Eckroat will be next to play. All right, here's Austin now. Short little par three. <laughs> that looks really good. Don't go in again. Don't spin off the green. Don't come off the green. Don't come off the green. Oh now, oh now. 
Jerome Bettis, ball in the air. And that's a nice shot for the green. You gotta be careful this back right hole location. It's if you get too dicey with that flag, you can make a big number here. Chad Pfeiffer is set to play for Team Rubicon. Slide. The swing. Sit down right there. Sit, sit down, sit. All right, right now. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. And Davey Lind up for Team Simplify and America's Fund. Cut. cut. Great cut. shots here on Ground 11. Cut. Ground cut, tracking. How special is this for you guys? It's amazing for me, I know probably these guys too, but yeah, amazing. It is Marine logo, so Mr. Parsons, you know, I gotta give him stuff about that being Army, but you know, <laughs> it's awesome here. It's amazing and what Mr. Parsons does for you know, all branches of the military is amazing. That Marine logo means something to you though, Rob. Yeah, it does. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Marine and I'm proud of it, and uh, I appreciate what Scottsdale National and, and Dr. Parsons and what, what he does. Um, by keeping veterans in the forefront uh, and, and, and looking after them and, and creating events like this. Uh, it's pretty darn special uh, to get to come out here and spend time with some real American heroes. Well, it's important and uh, to get the message out of, of, you know, especially for the veteran community, the injured veteran community, that life goes on and, and, and how you, uh, you know, carpe diem is my favorite saying, seize the day. Uh, and that message of uh, persevering through challenges, it's amazing being out here. Lots of shots found the green, but no one got close to the hole, and neither team was able to convert for their long yeah. putt for birdie. That's good. Oh, what a putt. So a rare par ties the hole and carries over to the 12th, which will be worth $100,000. Hey, this is Rob Riggle. Stick around for more PXG College Showcase. Welcome back, everyone. Glad to have you with us. The PXG College Golf Showcase. The 12th hole on Scottsdale Nationals, the other course, is a 423-yard par 4 that is playing downhill and downwind. Our players hit some great tee shots. The team strategically chose Darius Rucker's and Jerome Bettis' great drives, allowing the college stars' approach shots and putts that to be used. Be perfect. No, bounce. We use that slope. Right back down towards the flag stick. But the slope and spin got the best of Austin Eckert's approach, leaving quite a difficult putt for the birdie. And it comes in, a little flatter trajectory, a little flat bounce. Look out. Keep coming. Come on. Catch the red. Catch the red. Oh, it's going to come all the way back to the front of the green. With Team Semper Fi and America's Fund in close, the pressure is on Team Rubicon and Brian Erlocker to drain a long one and hope to push the hole. Crushed it. Bang! Oh, hey, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> hey, you said you said oh, what? You were dead. Yeah. What? Yet. You told him not yet. You tried to. There you go. With both teams making birdie, they tie and carry over to the 13th, now worth $165,000. The par 3 13th hole, Scorpion, is 227 yards from the back, uphill, and the flag is tucked way right over a bunker. Lauren. This is such a difficult shot for any golfer, and with the added pressure of a skin worth $165,000, the players all struggled to get close to the flag. That is, except for the bus. Former Pittsburgh Steeler, great Jerome Bettis. Stay. What a great shot. Good shot, Jerome. Nice swing there, Jerome. Thank you, man. Nice little cut. That's in their tight, about five feet. You know, it was, uh, it was a good shot. It fit my eye. Okay. <laughs> so what would you ask? What would you ask the big guys you uh, look to embark in your professional career here soon? Yeah, I think I was, uh, you know, interested in your career and uh, thinking about, like, throughout your uh, years at the Steelers, like, who was the, the player that was the most inspirational to you, you know, kind of, like, took you under his wing or something like that? Oh, wow. You know what? It, it, it's, it's really crazy because as a growing up, I wasn't a huge football fan, but I was a Dallas Cowboys fan. Okay. And the one player that I hated more than anybody was Franco Harris. Okay. And when I got to Pittsburgh, <laughs> he was the one guy that befriended me <laughs> that, you know, I told him, I said, Franco, I, you know, he took me, he took me to lunch and he, I said, Franco, I was a Dallas fan. I hated you. He just busted out laughing. But it, it was just, you know, his mentorship 
that really helped me along and really brought yeah. me into the fold. So he just, you know, gave all the information about, a, you know, a veteran guy needing to take care of his body mm -hmm. and all the things that, as a young player, you don't think about. Right. But, uh, you know, he was, he was very inspirational. That's good. There it is. Well done. Jerome's birdie earns 160K for Team Rubicon and increases their total winnings to $465,000. This is Brian Erlacher. Come back for more fun on PXG College Golf Showcase. We're back at Scottsdale National. Perfect. That's the line right there. On the par 4 14th, we continue to see great drives hit by both teams. Good. Thank you. If I can get some air, try to get some air under that draw. Yeah. Arizona Wildcat Trevor Werbelow hit his approach shot to shot. within 20 feet for birdie. Get up there. Great shot, Trevor. Oh, is that going to stay up? Oh, it just does. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a little right of it. Well, let's send it out to Travis. You let that one out a little bit, didn't you? Yeah, I let it, I let it on yeah, the beach on that you one. You the heck out of it. You're about ready to start your career. You've seen this guy, very successful. What, uh, what would you like to ask him? Yeah, I, I was wondering, was there ever like a point in your career where you felt like there was a fork in the road where you could have took one path, but you decided to go on the path you're on. And if you're, how grateful you are for that, or if there was oh, one, one, one point in your career where you're like, this, this is kind of where it turned, and I'm glad I made that decision. Absolutely. Uh, I had, I, uh, I, was, I was in comedy in New York. I had a day job, uh, and uh, I, I had kind of, I wasn't getting the traction I wanted. It was one of these things where I was I putting all this time and investment in it. I, I didn't know if anything was ever going to come back. And I got a big job offer down in Virginia. And I thought, well, maybe I'll take that and just, you know, yeah. get on with it. And then I, at the last minute, said no to the job offer, doubled down on the comedy, committed, kind of bet on myself, and it paid off. So I've, that was a moment, though, when I was really down. And I was like, oh, I'm done. I'm done. But then at the well. last second, I said, no, just one more try yeah. and it worked the arizona wildcat trevor were below so many things i like about this swing starting here to the top look at the daylight here in between the knees we call that a change of knee flex he's losing flexion in his trail knee to the top of the swing want a little more effortless power do that now from there you want a little more control get the club shaft to lay down on this right form just like trevor does that is such a good position there he can do whatever he wants with it through the impact zone and what i love about trevor well if he's fading it a little bit that day he plays the fade if he's drawing it a little bit that day he plays the draw hall of famer jerome bettis put team oh, rubicon so inside good. of 15 feet right for their birdie get up there and turn left, turn left. Sit. Only Team Semper Fi and America's Fun player to give his putt a chance to go in was Rob Riggle. And boy, did it ever turn it. Oh, shucks. Oh, what a great putt. We can't get a break. That's good. It's either the Riggle Wiggle or Rob getting robbed. Throws it out the right hand side and, oh, just carrying some speed there as it hits the left side. 65,000 on the line. Got a big lead right now, 465 Stay to up. 135. All right, Austin, don't you do this to us! <laughs> we win that hole. Austin yeah. Eckroad's birdie gives Team Rubicon another 65000 for a total of $530,000. Great, Great job, man. Wow. Good job. Good job, Jerome. Man. That's what teamwork, that's <laughs> what teamwork makes We talked to Oklahoma work. State's Austin Eckroat and caddy and coach Alan Bratton. I've always felt comfortable, whether it was the last shot in basketball or a putt on the last hole to win. And I think I have a lot of trust in myself. You know, I work hard at what I do, and putting myself in those positions is, is why I practice. You know, that's why you, you want to get better, is because you live for those moments. I compare him a lot to Kevin Tway. 
Uh, both of them are from Oklahoma. Similar games, both very good ball hitters. Nothing bothers them on the golf course. Austin's probably the strongest player I've ever coached in that way, of just doesn't carry things from one day to the next, which is very important in elite golf. You need a short memory, and he's certainly not afraid of, of the stage. And certainly the sky's the limit on, on his career. So to find out how Scottsdale National's amazing hospitality was inspired, we spoke with general manager Kristen Newman. The service that we offer is very akin to private service. We make it our, our job to know what you want before you know you want it yourself. And we pride ourselves on that. And, and it's, it's all in order to allow someone to really and truly relax while they are here, knowing that we are anticipating needs. We're providing very intuitive, on-point service. Always extravagant, never pretentious, unrestrained in all the right ways. Through its unassuming gates, Scottsdale National becomes a retreat, unveiling its inimitable style gradually. Everywhere is a study of complement and contrast. The setting is luxurious and comfortable. The service, precise and thoughtful. Whether you're a member, a guest of a member, or a chosen participant in the experience, Scottsdale National and its team will blow you away at every turn. At Scottsdale National, we provide a no luxury left behind experience for our members and guests that seamlessly blends the celebrated performance of PXG's outstanding golf clubs with breathtaking beauty, bespoke service, and world-class accommodations. The magnitude of the club property and discreet service provide a sense of wonder and freedom, particularly when you are playing any of the three golf courses enjoying a pre-dinner cocktail on the perch, or settling in for a good night's sleep in an on-site luxury villa. Combined with mesmerizing views, Scottsdale National really is the ultimate refuge for its small membership, who keeps things lively and fun, and those who are fortunate enough to pass through its gates. The 617-yard par 5 15th hole is named Wild Pig. After great Swing. drives, both teams had to go full throttle to try to get to the green on this long par five. Yeah. Garrett hit the best shot for Team Rubicon. And then Trevor Werbelow rocketed his three wood 280 oh, well, yards yes. into the middle of the green and Beautiful hit a shot. Swing here. Oh. Trevor, look at this, did enough and get there. Yeah. It lands in the middle of the green. What a golf shot. Hey, that was a tremendous shot. He's take, Ryan's taking the high line. This, this could be it. really good. Go Did he just make it? Oh, whoa. The teams gave each other their birdie putts, tying the 15th hole. And with the carryover, the 16th hole is now worth $145,000. Trevor Werbelow, senior at the University of Arizona. Don't go away, we'll be right back with more golf and fun here at the PXG College Golf Showcase. We are back, welcome, glad to have you with us at the PXG College Golf Showcase. And now I am pleased to be joined by the man who made this all possible, Dr. Bob Parsons himself. So Mr. Parsons, first of all, tell me why you felt it was important to showcase this kind of golf talent and also celebrities here in the field. Well, you know, uh, I've always been a believer in college golf. We sponsor a number of outstanding college teams. And uh, when uh, the Fidelity Sports Group brought this to us and uh, our people at PXG and Scottsdale National said, we really want to do this, I said, why not? <laughs> it'd be something we could do that'd make a difference, particularly during these times. We do have PXG heroes in the field. We have Chad Pfeiffer and we also have Davey Lind. And I can tell you the things that they're telling me on the golf course, not just about the Bob Parsons that the public knows and your booming voice and everything that you've been able to do with PXG clubs, but the stories that they're telling me about the mentorship and the friendship yeah, is really yeah, something. Yeah. Well, Lauren, these are my people and uh, they're my family. Uh, I love being around them. You always take care of family. So, I mean, that's, that's really all I can say. Love the guys and the girls who, uh, who have uh, given so much for us. They are true heroes. And thank you for your service, by the way. 
Semper Fi and America's Fund. Now through December 31st, your donation will be matched dollar for dollar up to $10 million. Please visit thefund.org slash match. Team Rubicon, donate to fuel their mission at teamrubiconusa.org slash fuel. The 167-yard par 3 16th hole yellow jacket plays to a very large green that has kind of an infinity pool effect and sits right up against the horizon. There's lots of money still left for charity as the 16th is worth $145,000 with carryovers. All right, good shot. Another good one. Another good looking shot. Is it enough? Spin yeah, back down. down the hill. Come on down. Come on, baby. Stay there. Stay there. Stay Rob there. shot on the way. They like Stay it there. in the air. This one does look good. Oh my yeah, God. Riggle. Oh. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Just in case. It's pulling back again. Just it. in case. Oh, yeah. Yep, nice Team Rubicon nice makes birdie to tie. We move to 17 worth $235,000. No, I got over it. The drivable par 4 17th hole butterfly plays downhill 326 yards to a large green that runs away from the player. Oh, look at that thing rolling with the flag. Uh, might be just short. Yeah. Oh, my. Keep feeling. It's got to sit. really good. Be good. <laughs> sit. All right, 17th hole. 295, that was a three wood? Yep, three wood. I got pinned left, so obviously I'm licking my chops. <laughs> so I just sent it out there to the right, and it funneled left to about six feet. So oh, six feet, that means that you have to make the putt. Yeah, not a good idea. Okay. Not, not good for the team. Yeah, what would you, Darius Rucker standing here right now. What, uh, got a question for him? So I, I've actually listened to a lot of your stuff. Uh -huh. And uh, so my question is like, what is your, what was your favorite album to, to make? Oh goodness. Probably the funnest album to make was our Hootie's very first record. Okay. Because we didn't know what was going on. And then, know? yeah. And then <laughs> another thing I'd ask is like, what was, what did, did, did you like, like performing individually, or did you like being in a band better? I like being in a band, but this the country music one I'm doing right now is I like, yeah. I like a lot. Just being able to choose all the stuff for yourself and doing everything yourself. Because who needs a band? We make decisions together. I like oh, this yeah. doing it by myself thing. Yeah, yeah, kind of like golf. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like not having to have me on your team. <laughs> awesome. Coming up, we'll see if the celebs from Team Semper Fi and America's Fund can hold an eagle putt for $235,000. Well, Mr. Parsons, I can't tell you how much fun we've had hanging out with you in the booth right now at the PXG College Golf Showcase. And we're not done yet, so stay with us. We'll be back in just a bit. All right. The PXG College Golf Showcase is presented by PXG. Nobody makes golf clubs the way we do, period. And by Scottsdale National Golf Club, the way golf should be played. And Toro, the worldwide leader in golf course maintenance equipment and irrigation. Welcome back. Let's head out to the 17th green. All right, Team Rubicon here. Putting for Eagle. Or lacquer working on his path. He's first up, so if not a make, the team can learn a lot from what he does here. Up over the ridge, then back down the hill, turning to the right. Bar too much there. Wow. This first part was unbelievable. Keep it kind of straight. Currently up by three hundred ninety-five thousand. Here's the bus from forty-two feet. Oh, that was a good stroke. That looked really good in his hand. Is it enough? Boy, he had it right on line. Shadows, shadow. Here at the par 417th, Garrett now. From 42 feet for a two. Please don't go in. 
after the tee shot of Brian Erlacher. Oh, that's the one you're putting. All right, here's Austin. He has made three big putts for Team Rubicon here. Can he do it again? That's got a chance. Like I said. Good putt. All right, here we go. Team Semperfy Darius for two hundred and thirty five thousand dollars. Bring him up to three seventy. Darius right now. There it is. There it is. That's a two hundred and thirty five thousand dollar putt right there. <laughs> Mount Lion is the par five finishing hole here on the other course. It's 589 yards long, downhill to a very wide fairway off the tee, but it has an extremely protected green if you go for it in two. Wow, good ball. Beauty. Grabber. Oh, where is his head? We got all where it all his head. I love it. I got a penthouse up there. 360 view. 360 view. You ready? You ready? Now. 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 Right now. Not yet. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. 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 Oh, oh. Left. More left. Her. Good ball there. Oh, that was swung hard at. Garrett Reband, very powerful golf swing. First example of that right here in the initial takeaway. Look at that width. His hands, his lead arm working wide out away from him. This sets the stage now for an aggressive turn to the top of the swing. He's going to crank on this right hip. This right hip, it's working up. It's working back behind him. A lot of pressure mounting into that right heel, certainly the most loaded of the players at the top of the swing. Now from here, he's gonna start his downswing. He's gonna fall left. The shaft's gonna shallow and he is on an uninterrupted path to impact of rotation. Oh, to be young again. Look at that left hip opening up. The left shoulder slinging the club around to a balanced finish position. Garrett Reband, where power and accuracy come together. You called it. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, Good swing, though. <laughs> you called it. I was going to kill that ball. You were way ahead of it. I was, so, I was like, no. Uh, I was like this. <laughs> oh, oh, Roberto, good swing. Saves the best for last. Oh, oh my slot. goodness. Speed to slot. That was, that was oh, way oh, hard. Oh, <laughs> dude. Dude. Right. A lot of these groups, they run out of steam at the end of the day, Lauren. Not Bettis. I'm this is the bus we're talking about. I'm he shows you. up in big moments. Get in the woods. Oh, oh cut. Oh, it's just true. a little. Speed slot. Was is that close to the speed slot? slot? Mm. It's left. Yeah. the worst for last. I know. I was trying to hit it hard. We got, we got. 380 out there. I'm good. It shows you can shape a shot. Think about when they show the tracer on that one. I trickled off 11. Some good golf. Good golf, man. Thank you. Patrick Lee probably gets it. It's the last hole. Come on. It was a 330 yard drive by Mac in this position. 248 left. Oh. Super Fi and the America's Fund is. Darius Rucker gets it started and calls it in the bunker. Hasn't reached it yet. That's it has now. a 50 yard bunker shot. I think this I one starts the right there. side of the green, trying to turn back. That's a good shot. I feel like missing greens. All right, not too bad. <laughs> and Jerome Bet is wasting no time. And this one just left of the flag stick and they catch a little piece of it, maybe. Austin Eckroot, the cowboy from Oklahoma State. Very powerful swing. And he starts this at the middle of the green, trying to turn, just hung up a little bit. Oh, that came up just short. What? A little surprised. Aggressive for my team. You were aggressively left. 
Who hit it just left? Oh, yeah, that was a uh, high four iron. Try to hit it. I wonder how good that one is. I was thinking more, but that's... 372 you yard drive by Garrett. His nine iron came up short even of this bunker, and he passed me and just said it was a good drive anyway. Oh, nice. And that was a very good shot nice anyway. Shot there. Beautiful Woo! shot there by the bus. Good shot. Bounce forward, gonna get inside Jerome, and he does another beauty. He's going upstairs with the big swing, trying to spin it just past the flag stick. Don't go away, we'll be right back with Team Semper Fi and America's Fun putts for Eagle and $100,000 from the PXG College Golf Showcase at Scottsdale National. Yep. Jerome Bettis here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more PXG College Showcase in a minute. Thanks for being with us for the inaugural PXG College Showcase at Scottsdale National here at the beautiful and challenging Scottsdale National Golf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona. After Rob Riggle's near hole in one oh and birdie God. on 16, Team Rubicon made their birdie to force a carryover to number 17, which was worth $235,000. Trailing $530,000 to $135,000, the pressure was on Team Semper Fi and America's Fund to help their charity and tighten up the competition. Mac Meisner stepped up for his team and drew in a full three wood from 300 yards to six feet and Darius Rucker converted the eagle putt to win the $235,000. The par five, 589 yard 18th hole is worth $100,000. Teams hit great drives, especially Garrett Reband, whose 371 yard bomb was the longest drive by any of our players today. Team Semper Fi and America's Fund hit their second shots from 245 yards out, the best being from Trevor Werbelow to the fringe 60 feet away. From 205 yards, the best result Team Rubicon could manage was a simple what? shot from the bunker. After Team Rubicon hit their shots from the sand to gimme distance for birdie, it was left to see if Darius Rucker or Rob Riggle could somehow manage to hole a very improbable putt for a second straight eagle for Team Semper Fi and America's Fund. Darius Rucker now. If he were to make this long putt, using a putter from just off the surface, it will be worth $100,000, but this one will come up short left. Rob Riggle, the so last hope for Team Semper Fi and America's Fund to, to see it. snag this last $100,000. Need help there, partner? Bring the caddy in. That's it right there. He's a Marine. He's got the mindset for this. Riggle for $100,000. I bet he likes the sound of that. Yes! Let's go. All right, Mr. Rago, congratulations on that I last putt. I know what to do myself. I started to run. And I thought, no, I better not run around. That's crazy. What were you, work what were you working on? What were you playing? Take us through. Uh, well, I had uh, uh, three awesome teammates show me the line. It helps tremendously. And then uh, I just... Uh, Hit it as hard as I could. Right before you hit it, I said, this is Riggle for $100,000. I bet he'll like the sound of that. Boom, you hit it in the hole. Well this done. Really, it does make me happy, because that's going to the Simper Five Fund, and, and nobody deserves it more. Congrats. All right, man. Can't believe it. All right, let's go down to the 18th hole for the check presentations with Matt Adams. Matt, take it away. What an incredible day today. To think that on the 16th tee, that Semper Fi and the America's Fund was behind by $395,000. And when it was all said and done, against the backdrop of incredible heroics, it ended up being $60,000 apart between these two teams. Stars, heroes, legends have all come together. We have the opportunity now to present the check. So go ahead and reveal for the world if Mine you would, goes sir. goes to Semper Fi Fund and America's Fund. $470,000. $470,000. Oh, 
Thanks for all you did. Thank you, sir. That leaves us with a winning check. And Renee is holding that one, if you would be so kind and honor us with presenting. $530,000 to Team Rubicon. Woo! Congratulations, $530,000, Chad. None of this could happen without all of you and your support. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for being here. You guys have established something that simply does not exist in college golf, and we appreciate it. To all of you, cheers. Thank you. An unreal finish to an unreal week, bringing back Aaron Oberholzer. Aaron, did you have any idea moving into the action that it would shape out just like that? I don't think we can ever script anything that what we just saw today. A Marine Corps veteran to sink that putt, I can't think of a better way uh, to end this day than what we just saw alone. It was incredible. What was the biggest surprise of how about the stage itself, the other course at Scottsdale National? You know, I think Mr. Parsons has, uh, can be extremely proud of this place. And Tim Jackson and David Kahn can be extremely proud of this place. Well, we raised a lot of money for excellent causes. We had a lot of fun out here at the PXG College Golf Showcase. If you're hungry for more, the good news is, we will be back next year. So for Lauren Thompson and Aaron Oberholzer and our entire crew who made this possible so long from Scottsdale, Arizona.